Hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're looking at this uh, Data Color Spider X Capture Pro. So this contains quite a few tools uh, for calibration from your lens to your monitor. So let's just check out the back here. So it comes with the Spider Lens Calibration tool, also the Spider Checker and the Cube as well. And then we also get the Spider X Elite, which uh, we're gonna actually calibrate a Scepter monitor, which isn't very co color accurate. It's not a high-end monitor. So we're gonna actually see if it does a good job of calibrating that monitor. So for now, let's go ahead and open up the box, see what we have inside, and then uh, get right into that. So we have a nice looking case here. Uh, let's just go ahead and open and see the inside here. Okay. Uh, everything looks uh, very organized, so when you're gonna put it back, it's gonna be easy. So here we have the color chart, and it does come with this nice uh, plastic cover here. It looks like it's very durable as well. And it does have its tripod mount as well here, looking at this side, and then the in here as well. And uh, actually, we're gonna go ahead and use this uh, to color grade this uh, video. And uh, one thing is, it does stand. So if you don't want to use a tripod, you want to place it somewhere, it does stand by itself, which is nice. When you're done, just go ahead and close it. Looks like it's magnetic here. Yeah. And then it stays nicely shut here. So no dust or anything like that can kind of get in there, which is nice. So let's go ahead and see what uh, we have next here. So here we have the lens calibrator. And uh, here we have a microfiber cloth, uh, which is nice that they included that. And uh, we got the Spider X Elite here. And we got the cube. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, just like the cube, nothing too special. We got the tripod mount and everything there. But everything else, the case looks uh, pretty nice here. It has this uh, nice foam finish. Everything is pre-cut out. Uh, so when you want to put, put it back in, it's pretty straightforward, which is uh, very nice. So nice uh, looking case. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and installed the software, uh, which is the website is listed on the pamphlet here. And also you'll need the serial number. So just keep this paper. And then uh, we got the tool here. So let's just see what it's uh, asking us to do. So we're just gonna go ahead and plug this in first. We have everything open right now and uh, you see this window here. Uh, what we wanna do is click uh, calibrate my display, go next. And uh, it's just gonna ask you if the monitor has been uh, like on for half an hour at least and all these things here. And uh, we have a desktop, we don't care about that. Uh, so we're able to control brightness with our monitor. So we're gonna click next. One thing it's asking us now is please select backlight. Uh, we have white LED standard and general and GB LED. Uh, most of the monitors kind of use white LED here. We're gonna go click next. And uh, we're just gonna go leave a step-by-step -step assistant. Let's leave that on. So right now we're gonna go ahead and click uh, full calibration here. Uh, we got the gamma, white point brightness, uh, everything is set here click next and uh, right now it's asking us to place the spider on the desk as shown okay so I think it's uh, going to measure the light that's currently coming here uh, click next okay so right now it's just asking us to place the spider X uh, right on the screen where we see it here so all you want to do is just open it and uh, kind of like pull so the cable like uh, extends here to however much you need the cable to extend. Uh, let's just go here. And uh, one thing I found that you need to do is kind of like tilt your monitor a bit just so this lays flat on the screen. Okay, I think that looks good. And we're gonna go ahead and click next. And now pretty much all we need to do is wait until it's done its calibration and then we're gonna see the difference here. So right now it's asking me to adjust the brightness. Okay, so let's go ahead and adjust the brightness and see what happens here. Okay, looks like we have to kind of click update. I thought it does it automatically. So as soon as we lower the brightness, we have to click update. Okay, looks like at five, the bright... So right now, definitely the brightness uh, has gone down on the monitor. So let's go click continue. Okay, looks like it's finished and didn't ask me to do anything else except the brightness here. Alrighty, so let's see the difference here. Okay, so this is the uncalibrated. Uh, definitely we can see the colors are a little bit harsh here, like even on this picture. And even looking at this, uh, like this images here, 
a little bit harsh. Um, if I go ahead and switch over to the calibrated view, you're able to kind of see all the colors coming back here. On the color chart here, we can definitely see a big difference. Because if I go to the uncalibrated view, look at the blacks here, everything is like blending in. It's like a whole, like just all black here. You don't really see any other colors here. Everything is like blending in. But here you're able to differentiate all the colors, uh, which is nice. So let's go ahead and look at a different picture here as well. Uh, let's just look at this one here. The skin tones, um, calibrated, uncalibrated. We can definitely get some more details coming in. Um, in a way, I kind of like how this looks, uh, even the uncalibrated a little bit. It's a little bit more colors coming in. Um, the uncalibrated is more of a flat view. Um, and if I go back, and uh, go here. Uh, so here, yeah, here we can definitely see a big difference. And uh, let's just go back. Uh, let's look at a black and white uh, picture here. Again, uh, we, there's definitely a lot more contrast and it's like all like, even here, the logo, as you see up here, the logo is like disappearing. But when we switch, we can kind of see the data color logo up there as well. So we have the profile set and uh, we're able to kind of go ahead and leave it as is. And it is calibrated right now. Uh, just to take a look at this picture here, uh, the main background that I have. If I go ahead and switch it between, you can definitely see there's, a, there's some difference here. So my overall thoughts on these uh, items here. Uh, one thing is the color chart is something that I will be using and I have been using actually. And it makes it super easy to go ahead and color grade any like photos and videos, especially if you're using DaVinci Resolve to do any color grading. This makes it super simple because DaVinci Resolve does have an option where you can go ahead and select your color chart. And uh, this, uh, comes in a very nice case here and looks like it's very durable. And it also has the tripod mount, which is a nice uh, option to have there. So this is definitely a keeper here. The next we got the Spider X Elite, uh, the color calibration. This is useful for a monitor like I have here, the Scepter. So this is not a, like a color graded monitor in any way. Uh, this is more like a lower end gaming monitor. The monitor definitely benefits from something like this. And you saw the difference there between the switches, uh, the uncalibrated and calibrated. There's a huge difference because what happens is if I'm doing any color calibration and uploading the video to YouTube, then the video is gonna look different than I thought. But if you're getting a more high-end calibrated monitor like the ProArt, like the ASUS ones, I, I don't really see the need for this because the monitor already comes pre-calibrated. So th this is like more of an option at that point. But on a lower end monitor, definitely helps out. Then we get the lens calibrator here. Uh, it does what it's supposed to. Is it something that I will be using personally? Not really. Is this something like if you have a camera kit lens, I don't see the need for this really. But this is more for someone who really needs it. Uh, if you have a new lens and want to do like lens calibration, you can definitely go ahead and get one of these. But for, no for normal use, if you have that kit lens, no need for this really. And then we get the cube as well here. I didn't really go through all of the advanced options of the Spider X Elite here. Uh, there's definitely a little bit more settings you're able to do there. Uh, I just wanted to go through the basics, uh, like if you're picking this up and want to do color calibration very quickly, that's what I did. The other thing which I love about this uh, whole kit here, it does come with this really nice case. Uh, everything is pre-cut out, the foam is like nice, it's not like one of those uh, smelly foams. It, it looks nice and the whole thing is very durable. Even this like got dropped a few times, it's not gonna affect any of the things inside, which is good. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.